What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have an extremely, extremely special video for you guys. I am the world's first 800, no, that's, sorry, let me correct that, 600, 700, 800, 900, and now 1,000 Carl. Yes, you heard me right, it took me only two days from the brother being released to get him to an astonishing 1,000. Thousand. Now to compare that to other people, only one person has gotten this brawler to 900, who is also on an insane grind at the moment competing for first, so he had to do it. You only had one other person, Ark, great YouTuber, get him to 800, and then the rest, we have only like five people to get him to 700, only a few people to get him to 600, and there's only like about 100 people or maybe even 200, that gets him just above 500. It's an insanely hard brawler to play. He's so fresh and so new. Basically, nobody knows what they're doing with him, and that's why I feel that this 1K was so special. I am so happy that I waited this entire time in Brawl Stars to 1K this brawler, because it does prove that I can do it, that I have the skills to take the new brawlers and incorporate them in-game and learn very fast. But without that, but without further ado, I'm going to show you guys the two games that got him from 992 to 996 and 996 to 1000. Let's get right into it. So here we go into the second last game to 1000 and we're going to be going up against Feli who is a really good Barley, another Barley and Jesse. Now this is at 4 a.m. Eastern time pretty much. So there was a lot of dead lobbies. We're facing a lot of people who are using double brawlers, like the same two brawlers. So for example, two Barleys, for example, two Jessies. We even faced Triple Bull and we got beat by them and they didn't even get one Siege Robot. They just rushed, rushed the safe together two times and did 100% like that. It's actually ridiculous. That one took a lot out of me. And I thought I was going to quit at that point. But anyways, I'm just going to show you guys a little bit of the gameplay. Now, getting it to 1K obviously was a grind. And it took a long time. Just to put it in perspective, it took about two and a half hours for me to get my Carl from 0 to 500 trophies. And this isn't me sweating. This is just me playing casually with my IRL friends trying to help them out. Now, for getting him to 500, 600, it took me about an hour and a half. Which is fair to get him from 500 to 600. We, have it, we didn't even lose a the game. Then to get him from 600 to 700... It took about two hours. 700 to 800 took about two and a half. Uh, 800 to 900 took about two and a half. And then 900 to 1000, I could probably say it took me a good, I could say eight hours. And that's with matchmaking, it's with Siege. So if Siege wasn't out, there is no way I could have gotten this. And the reason I was able to is because we did plus fours and we lost three times in between 900 to 8 to 1000. So it didn't take too, too, too long like most 1Ks do. Now this is just the gameplay going on over here. They did get the first Siege Robot facing Feli, who is my Team Liquid teammate actually, and a fellow good player. Now he was trying to snipe me, trying to take away my 1K Carl. He didn't want me to get it. But anyways, we're just going to be playing around here. We were able to get the opponent's Jesse, and a lot of people call Carl weak. Now I think he's actually pretty good. I think Carl is definitely a brawler that you need to work on in order to find his strengths and weaknesses and someone that you have to play a lot in order to learn when to use your super, which situations he's good in, which situations he's not in, but I think he's actually a really good brawler if you spend the time and I think in about a week a lot of people will realize that. Now here this is just me going in, when you get the siege robot you kind of just want to stay back and chip away at the safe. If you do get your super and there's like a thrower, someone who's like 4000 health or lower you can go towards the safe. And you can like kind of kill them and roll in the safe, but you don't really want to do that. Anyways, that's the end of the first game. Now let's go on to the 1000 game and let's just get into it. Why wait? So here we go into the 1000 game. Now I'm sorry that uh, this wasn't recorded live. I was in VC with my friends. Yeah, we were kind of tryharding at the moment just because every time we lost, it was a setback of about an hour because the match week matchmaking was literally 7 to 15 minutes per game. And every loss, it's just brutal. So we were definitely sweating really hard. Now, I did get that Leon down to 8 health, but we weren't able to kill it. Now, they are running actually a pretty meta comp. Jesse's a very strong brawler. I do like facing Mike as a Carl, just because I think he's pretty good against throwers. I think when he gets his super and he goes towards a thrower, it's pretty much GG. There's nothing they can do about it. So, I'm just over here. I'm kind of just juking away trying to get the first Siege Robot. I was able to take out the turret and the Jesse, and then I did super it in to get that. Just because I wanted to ensure that we got the first Siege Robot because it is so important. Now we are moving forward. We did get the first Siege Robot, which obviously is huge. If you can do about 50% with the first Siege Robot, if you, even if they get the second, you can just defend. And then by the third one, it's pretty easy to take it out. Now we are moving up over here. Slash is taking care of their Leon. We're going to move up with our Carl. 
there is going to be a mic right beside us now we are going to use our super on this jesse to take it out and we are going to go right beside the dynamite also attempting to take him out now as you guys can see the robot's just beating away at the safe and it did we did 55 percent so that's actually a really good amount for your first push because the second push if you get it is stronger or if you don't get it and you defend and you get a third push it's going to be even stronger than that so you're basically guaranteed the win so at this point we're just trying to hold on to middle possession here, I'm just going to use my super so I can ensure the fact that I get that bolt and I'm able to back up. Only 16 seconds left, so that bolt was huge. It's either a two-point lead or they're tied. So obviously, ensuring that bolt was a huge deal. Having pierce damage, I just go for the turret more or less. Just because if I don't get anyone, at least I hit the turret. And if someone walks in the way, obviously, I do kill them. I was able to get the Leon. And then over here, we cashed in the level 6 siege robot. And at this point, we kind of know it's a win. We know that it's going to go up and do a lot of damage. So we're already in the VC. We're like celebrating. You know, we're enjoying the fact that we're about to hit one. That I'm about to hit 1K. My first 1K ever. And I think I'm going to start going for it more often. But anyways, we're just chilling. We're chipping at the safe. I'm going to do a dramatic ending. Roll right on top of the Ike. And that is going to be the 1K game. OP getting star player there. And that's it. So I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. That's all I have for you guys today. And I hope you guys really enjoyed that 1K gameplay. And if you guys want to see more, put it in the comments. Tell me what to 1K and I'll get at it. Peace. Thank you.